Downtown San Diego is packed for the return of Comic-Con, and we break down what you can expect this year. Good evening, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. This Comic-Con will look a lot different compared to previous years with the ongoing Hollywood actors and writer strikes. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes spent the day downtown, where she spotted some interesting exhibits and met a familiar face. Kirsten? Okay, so we are just walking into Comic-Con. I haven't even picked up my press badges. Talk to someone that I talked to <laughs> from last year when I first came out to Comic-Con. Tell us your name. Tony, how you doing, Kristen? Tony, remember me from last year? Yes, I do. It was just happenstance that we followed each other into the convention center. So tell me, you've been to Comic-Con a bunch. How is this different from last year? We've been here coming like the past 11 years minus the pandemic. The energy is way off. Um, you know, a lot of the major studios aren't here this year and you can, a lot of people, but the energy is different. Now that I am inside the convention center, got my press badge, did my hair, this is Comic Con 2023, and take a look at my childhood. Remember Blockbuster? Let's talk about Brickbuster Video and Lego's Brickbuster Video. This is just one of the things that you can find this year at Comic Con 2023. My favorite part about this place is that it looks just like the Blockbuster from my childhood, except they've upgraded it with Lego's newest toys. So we got to tell you about this. Marvel Studios is actually bowing out of presenting a panel or any of their usual Hall H fanfare this year. Marvel's panels are usually the most anticipated. But when you have stuff like this Brickbuster video, you can definitely find some fun either way. Now, there won't be any big Warner Brothers or DC Studios Hall H presentations this year either. A lot of people are bummed out about that. But Universal Pictures, Lucasfilm, Sony Pictures, and Netflix, they're also following suit and and opting out of this year's San Diego Comic Con. Ultimately, the lack of big panels, parties, and celebrities running around San Diego's gas lamp quarter may come as a bit of a relief for the loyalists who will face maybe less crowds, shorter lines, and more access to limited edition items that are found in the halls of the sprawling exhibit hall. There are a lot of non-celebrity related panels and workshops to jump into throughout the weekend as well. And as always, the incredible star of the show is the cosplay. That's the real star of the show this weekend. People worked on these costumes all year long and they can finally show them off. And just like all things Comic-Con, we started on my childhood, ending on my childhood at Blockbuster with Funko, Kirsten Holmes, CBS 8, having fun at Comic-Con! <laughs> Kirsten, you always find the fun. Thanks so much. Comic-Con is happening in the middle of this heat wave we're experiencing, but that's not stopping many of the more than 100,000 fans expected to attend from getting into character at Comic-Con. We sent our Shannon Handy to the gas lamp to see how some of the dealing with these hot temperatures, especially those in costumes. Disco Barbie reporting from Comic-Con here. I am burning up just by wearing this wig. So imagine how people in full cosplay feel being in this heat. Comic-Con has been an annual tradition in San Diego for more than 50 years. It's where characters come to life. Wearing costumes is a tradition here, one people plan for months, well before knowing what the forecast will be. How hot are you? I'm pretty sweaty. Very hot. Very, 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 very hot. Outside the convention center, we saw plenty of people oh. trying to cool <laughs> off with whatever they could find. Others saw shade and water. I caught up with Daniel Partridge, who was running back to his hotel room to change. I'm just trying to get back to my room, get out of this, and change it to something lighter. <laughs> it's that hot. If I could just put my head in there. Even though it's cooler inside the convention center because of the air conditioning, with this many people, it still feels warm, almost like being outside. It's quite warm under this mask. I see the sweat. Insanely hot. Don't ever do it, but do it. A Comic-Con employee told me due to the ongoing Hollywood strike, some of the panels scheduled in the 6,500-person capacity hall H have been canceled. That's brought more people to the convention floor, making it even hotter. i uh, prior military. This is where you put that mentality in of just go with the flow, get it done, stay hydrated. Mental strength helps some people cope. Others, like this stormtrooper, upgraded his costume. How are you doing in that costume? I've got fans in here, so I'm doing great. Fortunately, while we were there, we didn't spot any heat-related emergencies, so there are a number of vendors selling water just in case. 
In fact, most people took the heat in stride, including my personal favorites, a collection of Barbies. Malibu Barbie, Presidential Barbie, Toy Story Barbie, Fashionista Barbie, Nutcracker Barbie, Barbie Swan Lake, Popstar Barbie, Pageant Barbie, I'm Raquel. <laughs> Disco reporter Barbie reporting from Comic-Con. Back to you.